Hello, my name is Pekka Koskinen and I'm very happy to have you here spending a few minutes learning about our work. For on this video, I will present briefly our article Optically Forged Diffraction Unlimited Ripples in Graphene published in Journal of Physical Chemistry Letters. This is combined experimental and theoretical work taking place at the University of Jyväskylä in Finland. So let me begin by presenting very briefly the technique of optical forging itself. In optical forging, we have CVD grown graphene on silica placed in an inert atmosphere such as N2 gas. When we irradiate graphene by sub-micron diameter femtosecond laser pulses at high repetition rate, we end up creating blisters in graphene. Our present understanding is that blisters are created because the laser-modified graphene expands on average, so that the picture of graphene upon zooming in looks like this. From Raman measurements, we have indications that the graphene indeed is modified by defects and that the defects are clustered. From XPS measurements, we know that we only have carbon and changes in bonding. And from AFM measurements, we know that we do have blisters and that they indeed are hollow and empty. Note, by the way, that the blister visualizations here are a bit exaggerated as the aspect ratios of the blisters are typically in the range 10 to minus 2. At any rate, the forging technique is such that the blistering follows the time-integrated laser intensity patterns whereby we can draw blisters of arbitrary shapes. And this is also what we have done previously. We have forged square meshes, spirals, gratings, pyramids, and more. Moreover, we can explain the experimental observations by simple thin sheet elasticity theory. Namely, the forging induces an isotropic expansion field epsilon of R, which we can simply add into the strain tensor. The maximum of strain is mostly below 1%. So that when we do this addition, make educated guess for the strain field and solve for the resulting thin sheet geometries, we end up with fair agreement between experiment and simulation. So that was optical forging in general, but how about this work? In this work, we have done optical forging, but only by irradiating single spots without moving the laser. What we observe, however, is not this type of typical bulging blisters, but something else. So let's see what we observed. What we did was we irradiated an array of single spots with irradiation times ranging from 0.1 seconds to one hour, so that the laser irradiates here for 0.1 seconds, here for 0.2 seconds, here for 1 second, here for 1 minute, here for 1 hour, and so on. And what we observed in AFM after this is shown here. And surprisingly, we don't observe simple bulging blisters, but instead blisters with complex rippling and very small features as seen from this AFM image. Indeed, when we zoom closer, the ripple features in the blisters are seen to be an order of magnitude smaller than the laser spot size. So, with optical forging, we can manipulate graphene rippling at length scales much below the diffraction limit. This is our main result. But we wanted to understand also the mechanism underlying the rippling. For this, we could take the AFM profiles and measure the increase in the areas of the blisters. By assuming that the expansion is proportional to the laser intensity profile, we could transform the area increase into the maximum expansion at the middle of the blisters as a function of the irradiation time. So, using 
these expansion fields, we could simulate the blister formation using thin sheet elasticity theory. Without adhesion, we find that the lowest energy geometry is that simple bulging blister with this type of height profile. However, at the same time, we found that with the same expansion field, creating cusps into the profile like this costs very little energy. These cusps make blisters show concentric ripples. And we could create more cusps resulting in more concentric ripples with very little additional energy. Note that this was without adhesion, but the effect of adhesion is just to pull the graphene down some amount toward the substrate. So, when we took the experimentally estimated expansion fields and a fitted value for the adhesion, the thin sheet elasticity theory was able to reproduce the experimentally observed features fairly well. By closer analysis, we could also understand why the rippling always starts with a single ripple with a certain diameter. And this is how optical forging is able to create diffraction unlimited rippling in graphene. Thanks for your time and for watching this video.